who? Who? I don't know whether to say them. Fuck. I don't know whether to say them. Alright. I don't know whether to say something confusing so Hislop has to spend all his time typing captions. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck off, Mina. <laughs> Damn it, she's topped you already. Ryan, Mina, Slops, Eric. Well, stream. Anybody fancy a party? Right, we have a party to attend. No, me neither, either, Ryan. But it will get us to a sex card. Uh, sorry, a romance card. No, you're not wrong at all, that's true. <gasps> what is this thing again? Oh no, there's Siri. I know, he pre-recorded that. Miguel's still at work, don't worry, he pre-recorded it. <laughs> I thought you might. Tag Slack, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the 16 months. It's that thing you forget to turn off, that's what it is, Tag Slack. You did a good job, actually, Hizzop, I'll give you that. Tag Slack, are you here, or is that an automatic one? Thank you for the uh, sub. Learn to lip read Siddles. <laughs> yeah. Siddles is a big bitch. There he is. Not at work today. <sighs> did Satan burn the place down like he keeps threatening to? Right, we have a party to attend to. There is a man called... No, there is a bard. Obviously, Geralt can't remember a thing about this, but there's a famous bard that's having a party, and Shani said she'd like us to come to the party. Now, we need a guest. No message. Oh, I think I've fired Siri. Gwynblade, thank you for the prime as well. Thank you for the 23. Thank you both. Enjoy your emotes. Duh, duh, tea, duh, duh. Where's my flat cap? Duh, duh. Turn the heating off, love. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. So not doing Satan's work today. That's not as dramatic as it sounds, weirdly. Right, let's get into the Witcher. Who do we take as our guest? We have the option to take 
a prostitute to the party. Now, I don't know whether that's a good move because we're trying to impress Shani. We know who the guest is. I could take, I'd like to think I can take the old brick maker. We could maybe take vegan boobs. We could maybe take nosy dog. But I think it may be down to, what did you say Ryan, Zoltan? Carmen, the prostitute, the leader of all prostitutes. I wish Roach, I wish Roach existed. We can also take Siegfried, the guy at the flaming hand with the bowl haircut. I subscribe properly for my favourite ASMR streams where a gamer girl pours bathwater onto a balloon. Wait, you're an Amaranth fan, I could tell. Are they the only people we can take, Ryan? Siegfried, I like him, but he's a bit of a Jobsworth, right? He's a bit of a... He's a bit of a nerd. A bit of a triad. Also, he's out in the swamp and fuck that. Do we take Zoltan or Carmen? Take Peter Beardsley. Paul Cunningham, you mean? There's nothing wrong with nerds. That's true, that's true. But would Shiny be impressed if I walked in with Siegfried on my arm, is the main question. That we're... Yeah, he does subscribe while wearing a bikini. Uh, text that. Sorry, Captain Paul Cunningham. <laughs> right, anyway. Welcome to The Witcher. We're going to do this party and we're going to get a sex card today. This is the day. I brought Shiny the alcohol, so we got some drink in for the party, right? It's time I thought about my companion. Whom should I invite? I must consider the people I know. Perhaps somebody wants to join. Let's first off go and see Zoltan. Notice more girls checking me out when I was taken, if that helps. Wait, what? I'll show you. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean when you was going to parties with Zoltan? Carmen, the name. It gives me flashbacks to GTA that are not pleasant. Oh, God, yeah. Was Carmen the one that was always talking about herself? Yeah, <laughs> She talked about herself in third person as well, didn't she? Right, it's the middle of the night. Do we think Zoltan's awake? Tell me interesting things. That was Michelle. She was paid to say that. Scream that to Nico. Right, we're in Vizima. We've got to find a party guest. That's the most important thing. I've not heard this, um, not heard of this bard before. I bet he's a real larker. I bet he's not annoying in the slightest. I bet he hates purple. Right, where is where do you find Zoltan? Should we we'll check the inn, see the bar, see if we can find Zoltan. If not, we'll sleep for the night. And then we can get started in the morning. Is it worth having a bit of dice to see if our luck's in today? We could start off with some dice. Maybe I can make some money. How much do I have? Fourteen hundred. Oh, I don't know. Zoltan, are you anywhere to be seen? She got paid to learn. She didn't learn much from Geralt. <laughs> Tell me interesting things. All in or nah? Alright, what? So we, we play some darts. Not darts, what did I say? Dice. <laughs> I'm confused. I was looking for Zoltan. Who is not in here? Shit. The gambler's also not here either, is that him? No, that's just any old thug. Alright, pal. I want to stay the night, please, sir. Damn it. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you Same want? Same shit, different day. Uh, no, not that. Fuck. Kaleido, welcome to the stream. Damn it. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? Was there any cattle with sinister looking gazes at your door? There's only one letter that doesn't appear in a US state name. Uh, X? Right. Any rooms? Five orans. Everything's so fucking expensive. Texas, yeah. Uh, G. Right, we'll sleep till midday. B? No, 
No, you're thinking of Bolorado, Ryan. You're forgetting about Bolorado. Right, hang on a minute. I've got I've, com I've really confused myself <laughs> in this last five minutes. I need to find Zoltan because we're going to a party and we need. I mean, big true. It's a fine morning and Zoltan's not in the inn. What's going on? The gambler is there. Let me write. I need to. I respect those who take risks. Is that why you've got a Yorkshire accent? Because you're a massive idiot. Right, I'm going to beat this guy at poker. And if I win, that means we're getting laid in today's stream. You ready? Okay, we're off. This is the best way to start a stream. I've already put three in. Here we go. Balls deep. Ouch. No way. All in. All in. All in. All in. Wait. Watch this. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna go balls deep. I want. I'm gonna get a two here. Are you watching this? I'm gonna get a two and a full house, and we're gonna get. And the the rest of this stream is gonna go perfectly. Did I? Wait, 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 wait. I thought I needed a two. I had a full house. How did I lose with a full house? How does that... What did he have? I can't see his fucking dice. I'm so angry. What did he get? I want looking because I had a... F oh, I'm so angry. So angry. Look at that. He had two fives and three sixes. That's a bigger full house, isn't it? Shit. I was so confident. Right, he's got two ones. A fuller house, if you will. Alright then, watch this. I'm going to get a two again. Well, I'm fucked already. What do I do? Just try and go for a two? Floral, welcome to the stream, dude. What could I have done there, honestly? How the fuck was I ever... Alright, that's it. That means we're not getting laid today. Toss a coin to your hidden cell. Virgin Geralt playthrough. Right, I need to find Zoltan. This is very important. Floral is one of those spam accounts that tries to sell you followers. Follow roll. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought you just attacked somebody that had just wandered into the stream. Floral, welcome to the stream. Here for some Polish goodness. It's There's a lot of Polish, but there's not a lot of goodness. That's the only problem. The game's wonky as, as wonky as shit. I can only win with Soul Jiggler at the moment. Just think about that sentence. Just remove. Right, I can speak to Carmen actually. If we was to take, if we was to take a prostitute to Dandelion's party, it would be this one. So we're going to interview her right now. Nice to see you. Uh, if I press that, will it confirm it? Carmen, care to come to a house party? Anything for you. And I'll give you a good price. Say a hundred orans. Floral, thank you for the host. Are you a, are you a streamer? Or we sh should we all be clicking your name and giving you a follow? Streams plus wow plus purple lights. Wait, bright fucking lights on her. Hmm, Henry Cavill looks weird. I know, right? He's got, he's got, like, all of a sudden he's grown some enormous shoulder blades. She's, I know, she's about to charge me. Nice right. Day. Okay, right. Well, just remember that, okay? She's going to charge me 50 orans to, to... No, 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 no. We're going to speak to Siegfried, and we're going to speak to Zoltan. 
So Carmen's willing to do it, but she took no con uh, convincing, and she's going to charge us 50 orange to be our party guest. I'd ask for a refund. You paid him. You paid slops. To be his friend, I'd definitely ask for a refund. Where's Zoltan? The problem with trying to find Zoltan is he's one of them people that you can only find him. Wandering around the streets. Then how do you guarantee to bump into him? That dog's not dead, Nina. Thanks for that stubbler. I wouldn't have known where to look. <laughs> I was talking about her shoulder blades. Nah, there's nobody here. Where's fucking Zoltan? I can't search the entire city looking for him, can I? I can't read out the entire lyrics to Bright Fucking Lights. Where's... Where is Zoltan? I can't get into Shani's head. Wait. Is that all Shani's shit been thrown out of her house? Is that a Leeds hat or a Wow Alliance hat? <laughs> I prescribed to both, unfortunately, but it's a Leeds hat. Yeah. My sins. It does look similar, actually. Is there something in that? Supports Norwich. Fucking hell. Right, I, I honestly can't find Zoltan. Is there a place where we've bumped into Zoltan more often than not? I swear he just wanders around the streets. Maybe if I was to... Let me... There's a boot black. Wait, Baymax? Is that his name? Have I got that right? Siddle's walking to the street. Slops, what's he saying? <laughs> so there is a sort of turbo nerd that would have a wow hat to be fair i'd have to buy it ryan and you know me better than that Impossible. i can't find zoltan i like maybe we just have to bump into him because currently i don't fancy the idea of taking uh carmen to this party He's not going to be in Kalkstein. Mina, did you watch the stream back yesterday? Did you see that Kalkstein is in fact guilty? Eric, stop withholding information. Tell us where Zoltan is. It's very important. Carmen is filth. Did I say Carmen is filth? Forgot to do that. Geralt, uh, uh, Kalkstein, it turns out, poisoned the uh, Salamandra prisoner in the hospital. He's denying it currently, but it's definitely almost objectively true. He's over there. You'll see him when he's close. Thank you, Eric. What, what would I? What should I do in the meantime? Just run around in circles. I've got to find him. Because if I can't find him before the midstream break, for example, then we're going to have to take Carmen. Keep your eye out for Zoltan. He is small, to be fair, and hard to find. Never a truer word spoken. Thank you, Eric. God bless Canada. Now, that I definitely said. Now he's stopped talking for it. You wish. Right, I can't find Zoltan anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knit to uh, the swamps and we'll speak to Siegfried. I'm sure he's there. Thought you weren't going to take a break on two hours anymore. Yeah, that's true. I did all right yesterday as well. That was the test yesterday. I might do it. Mario, welcome to the stream. I didn't say so already. Nah, I'm going to have to talk to this boot black. I've not met him yet. All right, pal. Greetings, sir. Yeah. Greetings. Who are you? A shoe shine? <laughs> Clean that muck off your boots for just two orans? <laughs> Press 1 to get our boots cleaned. Press 2 to shut the fuck up. 
His knackers are up out of the air, aren't they? 24 hours through with no breaks. Tag Slack says, get our boots shined. Eric says, boots shined. Maury says, boots shined. Floral says, boots. All right. Yeah. First journey to Fazima? I've got to talk to him. Just, <laughs> Just clean my boots. Fuck. You could say that. Tell me about it. We've some heavy issues here. Uh, there's a quarantine because of the plague. Squirrels are fighting the order. Monsters breed in hundreds, and we struggle with bandits. As one bard sang, Vizima's like a brothel on fire. Holy tits, we can learn a lot about it. Wait, where's Zoltan? So we've got the plague, bandits, the order, and the tell No, which, oh yeah, hello. I'm looking for witches jobs. You'll have no, <coughs> no trouble finding work. Ask merchants. <coughs> There's also trouble at the graveyard. We're gonna die. You don't talk like a shoe shine. Everyone hides skeletons in the closet. Let me tend to your boots. I've bored you long enough. Shine your shoes? <laughs> Have my shoes got noticeably shinier? Don't mind me, Madonna, did you see it? Just go stomping through the conversation. Careful stuff, that guy's got a corona. Tell by the raspiness. By that I mean he's got a beer. Oh, you're getting old, Granny. Mina, she she shouldn't have said that to you. I agree. <laughs> Fucking hell, Zoltan, where are you? Right, we're gonna fuck Zoltan off for now. Do we go and find Siegfried in the uh, in the swamp? We'll go, right, we'll go speak to Siegfried about coming. If he's... He might not want to. But otherwise, we, if we can't find Zoltan, we're going to have to pay... Shani. Not Shani. We're going to have to pay the prostitute. And then if I turn up trying to see Shani's bum at this party with the prostitute, is that likely to happen at all? Fucking yes. Let me out. Thank you. I just don't have to go to the swamp. I get killed in the swamp. We've never come across Zoltan out here yet, have we? Hmm. Morning, everybody. At least you'll be getting a happy ending. Probably not, actually, because Carmen's refused to give us her sex card so far. And we've paid her enough. Fucking dogs running around, not on leads. Look at this place. I bet the shit in public you areas as well. Shut up, mate. Transport services at the best prices. Uh, yes, thank you. I'd like to go. Take me to the other side. Okay. Times are wasting. Made up your mind. I hate this little back and forth you have to do to get the boat. Ready to go? Yes. How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Those dogs should be secured safely in a pram. <laughs> With a blue drink in hand. Size of that guy's head. That's because he's got all the maps and all the knowledge in his head, you see, so he can take me the 40 feet across the water it takes to get to the swamp. Can't just have anybody trust uh, trust anybody to do that. Eric, we've not heard it today, by the way. Have you noticed? We've been running around the city during the daylight all day and we've not heard it yet. Oh, it's night time in the swamp as well. I hate it when it's raining. Ryan, can you remember where Siegfried was? He was sat down by a fire somewhere. Was he up near the druids? Hello? I think he was up... It was like... Oh, he was south of the druids because we was up there, weren't we, sleeping? Right, Geralt, we're in the swamp. Do you need a boat? It might be, might not be. This guy. This guy. Do we speak to... Right. Let me just explain something, in case anybody hasn't seen a lot of this playthrough. There is a character in the swamp called the Old Brickmaker. He has won the hearts and minds of the community. And here he is. What do you want to hear about? I'm going to give the decision today to... Slops. 
What would you like to hear about from the old brickmaker? He's a fount of knowledge when it comes to swamp-related things. You can hear about brickmakers, lumberjacks, monsters, mosquitoes, or druids. Pick wisely. He's sleeping on it. He's sleeping on it. He's going to let us down. Fuck, he's going to AFK just at the wrong time. Eric, what would you like to hear about? You want to hear about a farewell? You'll get that as well. Slops! <laughs> He's letting us down. Eric, what would you like to hear about from the brickmaker? This is very important. Or should we wait for Slops to come back? He might never come back. Eric says he wants to learn about the druids. Got it. He's missed out. He's missed out. Where will I find the druids? Ah, uh, that's the furthest nook in the forest. With beautiful trees and wild beasts sitting with druids. That'll be straight southwest, but you need to pass the loggers or take another path. Hard to say what. <laughs> that might be the best one because it comes out of nowhere. Thank you, old brickmaker. Farewell. The last thing he said to us before he died was Bob, 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 Bob. Baran. Thank you, old brickmaker. He did. He almost got through that entire sentence without stumbling. Right. We are heading up to, I think, this camp here. Where our pal Siegfried is waiting. Siegfried is that nerd with a blonde bowl cut that's in charge of the Order of the Flaming Hand or whatever they're called. He's a bit of a triad and a bit of a jobs work. Holy shit, Sothan reference. But he might just be who we need to accompany us to, accompany us to this party. The party's too much of a sausage fest for him. Yeah, he needs a ratio of at least 500 to 1 with him. <laughs> He's a slayer, I've heard. Tell you what, when the weather's like this, at least the drowners can't see me. I'm not half dead yet, which is nice. It's annoying me that I haven't got that last stone. That tower is left currently uncracked. I want to go to this party. Should I risk just going straight through the swamp, or should I stick to the road? I think the game does actually reward you for sticking to the road. It's like Dust Wallow Marsh, this, by the way. What about me? He didn't say mosquitoes. He just didn't give us an answer at all. I think he passed out from uh, sheer, from being just completely impressed by the. The brickmaker. When I asked where the druids are, by the way, this is the druids' grove. This is where the brickmaker was stood. The brickmaker said the druids are to the southwest. I've got attacked now for mocking the brick brickmaker. He rewards you by not brutally murdering you. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it's not brutally murdered me just yet. He's had a knock on the head, leave him alone. I like that though, if that's true. If they've made him give bad directions and shitty information because he's had a head injury recently, I really like it. Oh shit, I've run off the road. Do we, does anybody here actually want Siegfried to accompany us to this party? I'm not sure I do. More work. Although we did say yesterday that if Siegfried does accompany us to the party, at least Geralt will automatically not have the worst haircut in the room. This is a guy that's been likened to Trim in the past. He's a bit pompous and a bit of a job's worth. If he's not here, I'm going to be furious. Oh, he's here. There he is. Siegfried, here we go. Mazak, welcome to the stream. We're going to a party. I don't know if he was here at the very end of yesterday's stream, but we're going to organise a party. We need a guest because we're trying to um, seduce Sa Shani, who's running the party. Wow! Oh. Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. <laughs> the poor old Siegfried's got some sort of work-related injury, it would appear. Or he's got IBS. Come on, Siegfried, sit down, calm down. What's what's the matter? What happened? An Echinops thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. 
We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honour and respect. It does look a bit like him, actually, Henry. Cross the eyes. We truly need your assistance. Huh. Hang on a minute. I'm, am I just walking straight into a quest? I'm supposed to be busy, Siegfried. Right, we have to find Zoltan. I can't, we can't do this. You want to come to my banana and liquid tapas party tonight? It's well bent. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to ask, but you won't have it. Uh, see, if I press that now, that's gonna. I'm gonna accept the quest. He can't come with us to the party anyway because he's, frankly, very dislikable, and he's also got a thorn in his foot. Wait here. I'll look around. Have I accepted that quest? No. But we need to remember that Siegfried has a quest. Is there anybody here that would rather take Siegfried to the party over either Zoltan or a prostitute? Gwynblade, thank you for the big bits, by the way. I didn't realise they were so big. Thank you, Gwynblade. No, I don't think there is, Mina. We had to see him to check him off the list, right? Ryan, what? Ryan's... In some alternate universe, Ryan has taken Siegfried already. Right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just go and ask Vegan Boobs if she's up for it. Give me a second. On the off chance, she might be available to come to the party. Where is she? Morin, where you at? There. Excuse me, madam, would you like to come to a party in the city? You strike me as the type. Windblade. Uh, nope. Fair okay. Well. I just had to ask. Thank you, Morin. Sorry, Tita, that's her name. Tita. It was it was calling her vegan boobs. I think that was Dan. We don't listen to what Dan says, do we? Ever? Right, let's... We're going to use that thing and teleport back to Vizima. Tita's not up for it. I need to find Zoltan. Is there a... If I look on the glossary in, uh, thing for Zoltan, does it tell us where he hangs out? I helped a dwarf being attacked by racists. Yes, Zoltan managed to get to the temple quarter. The dwarf was happy to see me again. Does that mean he's gone to a different part of the city? He's got to still be kicking around, surely. Stop making fun of... I've told you, Moria, it's uh, August, not yours. <laughs> Eric, welcome to the stream. We have the double Eric. Congratulations, everybody. We've unlocked that achievement for today. Are you well, Eric? Right, I'm just going to speed run all the way to the teleport. Let's get back to the city. Where have we seen Zoltan in the past? Holy shit, that's a wyvern. I've not fought a wyvern before. Fuck off. Ow. Geralt, hello. Geralt, you want to hit it? Hello. Just dodges everything. What am I meant to do here? I'll go fast. Come on, girl. In. In. Balls deep. Girl, you're gonna die. Fuck it. Run, 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 run. Oh! I'm really gonna die. I forgot a swallow potion. Where does it go? Does it run away? It actually did run away. <laughs> Amazing. 
Where's the place of power? Get me out of here quickly. Oh, I forgot about good old Geralt deep in thought. Right. Uh, teleport me back to Coltstein's lab, please, even though he's a massive villain, but we've just not confronted him about it yet. Where is Zoltan? Coming back for you. I'll prove it. I'll prove it. One of these days, I'll prove it. Right, Zoltan's not in Kalkstein's house. Would it be bad of us to look up where to find Zoltan in Vizima? I think it would, wouldn't it? We don't want to do that. Right, let me save. Hmm. Where is it that we've bumped into him? There you go, Eric. Why would anyone make fun of green tits when they could be having fun with them? I wish I could have fun with them, Collider, but she refuses to do anything other than parade around the swamp and act like she's uh, too sort of spiritual for the dirty, horrible parties of Vizima and parading around with witches. Zoltan is nowhere! Keep reading it as Tiddles. Have you heard of Tiddles? It's that Scottish girl that comes in here every now and again. Very dislikable. Right, Zoltan doesn't hang around the prison area, does he? Or the training yard. So Zoltan surely hangs around. We, I have seen him patrolling around here, though. But it might be just at the specific time of day. Where might you find Zoltan Shiva? The house of the fence, we know he's not there, he's not in the trade quarter. He's in the temple quarter. Not at any of these places, not at the royal castle. He's not at the Vival Or is he at Vivaldi's? Is he in the sewers? The armourer? Where is he? I think he just walks around the city, but... What else would he train? He's already maxed out beard and waddling. Yeah, true. He wouldn't learn to read or anything, would he? He could just be on the pot. Well, I'm willing to go and find said pot and drag him off it because we need to get him to this party. If we all agreed that we'd... Right, right, question. If Zoltan is willing to come to the party, do we take him or do we take Carmen? Just rattle your coins and dice, he'll show up. He's already heard that I'm willing to be fleeced for money today. Is he in the blacksmith's house? Let's check. Zoltan, where are you? No. What the hell? Oh. Is there going to be another full stream where you, while you pick outfits? <laughs> Maybe. I'll go get my boots blacked again like 50 times to make sure they're nice and shiny before we set off. Right, there's no one here. Hello, half-elf woman. Beware if you intend to stay. Fanatics hunt non-humans at night. I know they do. I've had salamander assassins. And another one to do his hair and makeup. See, that's why we can't take Siegfried, it's Siegfried, because he'd undermine us with his terrible haircut. Whee! Poor girl, blue, boot black. Old lady. Wild dog. And then one where we have to give Stubble a bit of talk. There's going to be one where I'm stood in some toilet somewhere trying to put money in that curious machine with pictures of fruit on it. Carmen is here in the slums. Come on, Zoltan, be at the inn. Do this for us. There was no period where Zoltan moved out, is there? Bet Carmen is a lager and lime kind of girl. I bet I'm paid if she is, because I seem to be paying for everything else. Right, Munro Bruy, Broy's what we call him, Zia. What talk? When a witcher loves a prostitute very much. <laughs> no, replace the word loves with pays. I don't think he exists. I think he's moved out of the city. I think something's taken Zoltan out of the city. Surely he would have found him by now. If it gets to 
if when it gets to the hour, so 12 minutes from now, if we can't find Zoltan, we have to take Carmen. Deal? So I've got 11 minutes to desperately try and find Zoltan, otherwise we have to stump up and take Carmen for money. Which is going to be a bad luck when it comes to uh, trying to win the heart of Shani. He's paid for companionship and to relax. Not his fault they find him irresistible. It's my irresistible, huge, fat, pulsing money bag. I mean, what's that? It's a witcher. Have you never seen a witcher before? Just because he's lost his best friend. I hate him. I've... What's this? What I really like about this game is if you... Who's this guy? You're not Zoltan. So I'm at the other side of the city and I can't get over this wall, but if I click on the door, Geralt goes... Love it. Come on, Geralt, get yourself in that door. <laughs> what you always forget about this game is you can watch this, everybody. This is like. Oh, wait a minute, Zoltan. <gasps> oh! Zoltan. Yeah, watch this. Look, you can play this game like Diablo. Look. Point and click. It's fucked up, don't you think? Look at that. Anyway, stop, stop, stop looking. Zoltan, we found him. Right, let me save. Zoltan, please come to the party with us. Please, please, please. Is this going to make Shani think we're gay, though? It's that baby butt rash of yours. Hey, tattooed. Yes? Oh. Oh. Ah. Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. He has a shit beard. This is Sultan's beard. He's coming. All right, that was as, as easy as that. He's coming. Brilliant. Thank you, Sultan. I love you very much. Farewell. Oh, I don't have to pay Carmen. Right, it's time to go to the party. Is everybody ready? Tell me everybody's got dressed up, right? We're not allowed to get drunk. We're not allowed to womanize with anybody but Shani. Or we're not certainly not allowed to womanize with Zoltan. I cannot wait to fight. It's that tattooed baby butt rash of yours. Shani's party. Shani's party's at Shani's house. Have I just seen that right? Wait, what if the landlady's gonna be there? Is this where we get a sex card? Come on, everybody, pray. Come on. In before tonight by the landlady. I can't handle this. My heart. Help. What now? Such debauchery under my roof. She hooks herself a musician or something. It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally. You're making sense. Wait, Dandelion and Shani? Excuse me. Excuse me. Grandma, tell me it's not true. Sultan? This guy. This guy. That guy right there. He's the problem. He's always the problem. And he's the problem now. Shani, what is this? Speak to me. I'm saving it. You're going to cock block poor old Yaskia. No, 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 no. Hi, Geralt. Kill him. Dandelion but can't wait to see you. You! With you. Weird is on. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? 
And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Cahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. What? I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, <sighs> drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Um... Press one if we're dead. Just, just so I just want some confirmation. I just a pitch for me. <laughs> yeah, went to the convention. Uh. I guess I don't die so easily. How do I know you're not some magic doppelganger, some freak? Listen, Dandelion. I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down. Have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. I have a sixth sense about this. We are not dead. <laughs> I think I need a drink. You're not fucking kidding me. What does the quest say? Yet another person reacts rather weirdly upon seeing me. Dandelion maintains he saw me die. I think I need a drink. You're not kidding. This party's a bit shit. Where's Zoltan, by the way? Incidentally. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. Good. See? Everybody on Team Calm and turn up there with a prostitute. Who do you think I am? Come on then, Dandelion. Let's have a drink. I've been thinking and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? I think I'd do it, and then I'd brag about it. Silver sword. Potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Reach a deal? Um. Vampires are born from black magic, evil by nature. Negotiation usually ends with one of the parties losing a lot of blood, and it's rarely the vampire. And what if the vampire doesn't care to drink blood? They inherently drink blood. But I think you have something else in mind. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a vampire. Dandelion. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, strong, All right, that was <laughs> but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Oh. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been what a guy. Well, I was listening Greetings, to that. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for a good booze. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's getting worse. <sighs> hey, Shani. I know we've got company, like, can it? Pack. Zoltan, you bitch. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Shani, I'm just going to die here for 40 minutes. <sighs> Shani? I can't wink when I'm this drunk. Shani. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Zoltan, let's play dice. Who do I speak to? Sit down, Zoltan. You're making the place look untidy. Shani, speak to me. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands oh, it's of always wounded, battles with Shani. I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. Imagine that dialogue choice if it had been Carmen instead of Sultan. <laughs> Hankering for a good booze. Yeah, just one, though. Shani, she's all work. She is, isn't she? Sultan. Kill Dandelion for me. He's getting in my way. Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Booze is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, 
booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but, but don't about. mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not <laughs> only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! This is a sexy conversation, <laughs> this one. Thanks, Zoltan, for t uh, for uh, talking about the medical properties of the alcohol we're trying to drink to dull the pain. <laughs> ah, it's getting worse. If I wake up next to Dandelion, whose fault is it? Dandelion, speak to me. Zoltan keeps talking about medic medicine. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true <laughs> friend who was a vampire. <laughs> did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did. So the joke's on you. And we did. Case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. Regis. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis. Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Krusty. Why don't you just shout Krusty? Tarantino would be proud of natural dialogue of this quality. <laughs> Regis, that name's familiar, right? Mina, Gwynblade, etc. Don't tell me from where, but I think I know. Oh. Right. Come on, Carol, just keep talking. And Dandelion quoted the time when we had a friend who was a dragon. Zoltan, speak to me. You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. Oh, talk, that talk, mummy talk, must grandma. have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. Oh, I'll no! for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion will. He'd mess up. D Dan, welcome to the stream of Bob, 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 Bob. I'm guessing Mina also had to delete a comment. <laughs> yeah. I I'm guessing it is from Wine Country, right? Right, right, right. I have a stealth mission. My mi Listen to this, right? My mission is to sneak downstairs, past the old lady, steal some lard from her kitchen, and sneak back upstairs. Press 1 if we choose to accept it. Press 2 if not. Mina says 1. I think Ryan's already said 2. Taxlat says 1. What if I get kicked out, though? What if she sees me and I get kicked out? Ooh, alright. Alright, fine. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm just gonna... Ooh, fuck. Zoltan asked me to bring him some pickles and lard from Grandma downstairs. That quest when you had to get Grandma's lard. I've seen Last Tango in Paris. I know where this is going. Hey, I'll be back with your lard. Bear with me. I'm in full stealth mode. I got this. Is she in? She might go to bed. Where can I steal it from, if anywhere? Can she see me? I can't see anything. That's not lad, that's a pair. I'll leave her with her pair, we don't want her to notice. Where is she? Shelf? She's gonna kick you out for being she probably is. Salt Peter, that's not lad. Do you think she's got it on the old shelf? Or in the cupboard? 
Dried fruit, cheese, nut. Jora good luck, Sal Peter. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Peter. Grandma's pickles and lard. I got it, I got it, she didn't see me. She sat just behind that middle thing. <laughs> got him. Look, she has a torch too. Guess the old hag has a crush on you. Didn't we find a diary where she was a prostitute when she was younger or something? Have I misremembered that? All right, lads. Actually, just in case it crashes, I don't want to go through that terrible stealth mission again. Shani, I've brought you the lad. Love me. It's completely dark down there. What? It was alright actually, I thought. So he said we so salty. Peter? Needless to say, I had the last laugh. <laughs> Needles. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do. Ugh. Dandelion's gonna sit. Do we want to hear Dandelion sing? I'll get out the behind you. I'll sit next to you, Shani. Geralt, stop walking. Geralt, stop. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. By the woods, can you see Wolf in all his might? Grinning madly, wagging gladly, bouncing with delight. My oh my, what a sight. Why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed. That is why so jolly. Arr, arr, arr. Arr. In the grass, can you see Wolf just limps along? Looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that freshly wed or lately engaged. Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely Zoltan, top how's the wife? Uh, hard question, <laughs> Dandelion. Dialogue the times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. Liara to Shani. <laughs> this fucking game's great. Ah, oh. Games take themselves a little too seriously nowadays, but this one's just bad and good in equal measure, and it makes it brilliant. Shani's asleep, is she? Wait, where's everybody else gone? <gasps> Wait! Everybody else sucked up and left. It's just me and Shani. Oh! Do we, do we try it? This is it. Prepare yourself. First sex card in nine streams. Everybody prepare. Just get ready. Just, just relax. Shani, how's it going? I've sobered up. Look, fucking hell, Carol, come on. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna, the massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. Does that make sense? <sighs> it does. Shani. Thanks. Sometimes it's good to share. Don't mention it. Shall I give her a gift? I think I can maybe give her a gift. Shani, speak to me. Yes? I have some. What shall I give her? Did it say to give her flowers? Did it actually, Dan? Do I have any flowers? I can give her some celandine. That's not a flower, though, is it? Did it say give her flowers? Perhaps I should give Shani some flowers to say thanks. Nice thought, but take it away. Oh shit! Wait, I don't have any flowers. I've got none on me. Massacre! Whoa, really getting me in the mood. Damn, good spot. Let me just check. 
I'm so excited. This party's over. I'll sure be hungover in the morning. Maybe I should visit Shani and bring her some roses and say thanks. Roses. Got it. Fuck me, O'Reilly. What's going on out there? Let's get some roses. Shani, I love you. I mean, you're very nice. Thank you for the party. My toxicity level's gone up, look, because I'm drunk. Oh, God, these... Stairs are going to be... At least someone's paying attention. I know, right? Here I am, trying to successfully navigate this knobstacle course over here, and Dan's the only one actually reading how to do it properly. See you later, you old... Lady. Right, I've got... Where can I get roses from? I swear we found someone lately that sells flowers raw. Merchant, this, wait, Stephen Merchant over here, mate. Is there a rose garden? I'm mad. People who say they're mad are usually very boring. That sells flowers. That sells flowers raw, raw as opposed to cooked. I don't know why I said raw. What I meant was, it sells flowers as just flowers, not crafting, broken down into crafting materials. I <laughs> cook. Girls love them raw flowers. I can cook them for Amina if she like, if she needs. Right, there's a village trader somewhere. A peddler. You sell flowers, don't you, you big bitch? What can I do for you? Just... Orchids. White roses, yellow roses. Right, there's no red. Oh, there's them gold gloves. How much are they? A hundred orange. I'm buying them because that's what that that's what the old bin at Shani's wants. Right. Question. Does Shani want white roses or yellow roses? It didn't specify colour, so give her some beige roses. That being said, broccoli is the flower of the plant which you eat. Well fruit is kind of the flower, right? Or it's what's left after the flower's died. You think I give her both? First person to say yellow or white picks the roses. That's a better way of doing this. And if the old hag at the door wants the gold gloves, I can give her the gold gloves. Mazak says white. Fruit is not a flower. No, it's not, is it? It's not. But the f when it's, it's the seed head. But you know what I mean? It's part of the flower part, right? Sort of. Or it's what's left after the flower's fucked off. The stalk of the mall's green. That's true, Ryan. You've talked me out of it. Right, we'll have white. Mazak's confident it's white. Right, let's just waddle straight back in. If... Oh, there's an herbalist right outside. I walked clean past the herbalist to talk to the dodgy peddler at the side of the street. Sorry, miss. Potatoes are actually flowers. Is that true? Are that potatoes, like... Or is that one of the... That's... I bet it is. That's one of them things that people tell you. As if it's an interesting fact, but everybody knows it, that potatoes are part of the Deadly Nightshade family. Coconuts are actually mammals. That one, however, is interesting. Big true. Right, old lady. What? You drunk? Not true. Out! Don't let me see you again! I was in here ten seconds ago, drunk woman. <laughs> women used to give broccoli to the women they were wooing, according to a thing I read on the internet. Wait, women to women? You drunk? Not true. Out! Don't let me see you again! <laughs> Fuck off, old lady, please. Right, I need to sober up. But to sober up, I've got to walk all the way to the hairy bear. <laughs> No, it's the peanuts are not actually nuts, they're a legume. Why you gotta say it like that, Dan? Have I really got to walk all the way like this? Wait, I learned something that if I draw my sword, it won't let me draw my pissing sword. Ooh, I just wanna sober up, please. Dogs can't see through glass. Is that what dogs can't look up? Or is that cows? Or is that Brocco lesbians? My pissing sword. For some reason I can't get the sword out. Oh, what's happened? Something's changed. 
need a pencil and some paper to draw your sword. A good old game of scribble will draw it, I think. Come on, Geralt. I can't walk any faster. Sprint. Go. Balls deep. All in. I can't do this. I need to go all the way there and I've walked that distance in five minutes. Is there a fire at Colkstein's house or something that I can sleep by? Don't look at me like that, mate. You've all, we've all been in this position. It might be drawn... Hang on. Let me go in Colkstein's house. If he might have a campfire or something I can sleep in. Or maybe his own bed. I need to sober up. I'm sure there's some food that sobers you up. I fucking hate Colkstein. I can't sleep in his house. Why has this old woman got to be like this? And I bet when I wake up tomorrow, fucking Shani will be at work. Fuck. It might be drawn eventually, but the rest of the stream will be drawn first. I like the idea that it'll turn to night time, and then um, I'll get attacked by the... What's, what are they called? Bandits. I let everyone who accuses me of a crime sleep in my house. <laughs> True. Wait, if I talk to that dwarf... Oh. This is painful. I need a campfire. I need anything that'll let me sleep. Please, game. Anyway, if I press that, will Geralt run? No, this is as fast as he can fucking go. They have a surprisingly good day-night schedule to the NPCs in this game. Come on, Geralt. I need to sleep for like 24 hours, essentially. Come on. Is this worth it for a sex card? I think it is, right? Right, Geralt, we're off this way now. How far am I? Right, I've made it all this way. I just need to get a little bit further. Another two-thirds of the city to cross, drunkenly. Can I... Is this, like, white... What is it that gets rid of toxicity? So he's really, really good. High quality for bombs. Nope, nope, nope. A crudely distilled alcoholic beverage. Nope. I've got an idea. Yeah, I've not got any white honey meaner. It's, I think it's white honey, no? Or is white honey the one that... I think I've got some white honey, but it's in the inn. No, no, no. My idea is to take so much fist tech that I pass out from a drug overdose and wake up the next morning sober. <laughs> Deal? Anybody fancy that? There is one way I can get to tomorrow, and that's to take so many drugs I go fucking stoned out of my god and fall asleep. I, was I still high? This can't end well. I've got to have to try it. It's this or just waddle across town. Fuck it. Go on, Geralt. Get it down your neck, Pat. That was a lot quicker than I anticipated. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> yes! Fucking have it! See, kids, everybody, stop and listen. Winners do drugs. Absolutely brilliant. <coughs> In game. <clears throat> that was amazing. Fuck. Can't believe that worked. Right. And coerce women into say hey, she's coercing me. Asking me to that party. Fucking shiny. Right, I'm still drunk, but I'm also sober, so we're fine. If I sleep now until midnight tomorrow night, Shiny should have finished work. Whatever you do, don't bid on the boxing. Deal. Right, now, sir. Five orange. 
Right. Sir, so I would like to sleep until... That was the wrong button. Why can't I meditate? Did I just stand back up after paying for the room? What the hell did I click? I paid five oranges to sit on a carpet for 20 Damn seconds. It. Damn Whatever it. You do. Yeah, alright, mate. Okay, now the game's crashed. Oh! <laughs> that was the worst for, sort of 15 seconds in Doom House history. Ah! Uh, I pressed the. I bought a room for the night. Then I went to go and pick the time I wanted to meditate till. I picked the wrong time. By cancelling it, I cancelled meditating in general. Paid another five orans, and the game crashed. Fucking hell, Witcher. Leave me alone. I'm trying my hardest over here. That's the most depressing part of all this. Have I killed anything in today's stream? I nearly... Wait. Eight minutes ago? What the hell is this autosave? Uh-oh. That was 11 minutes ago. No, that was 11 minutes ago, not eight. Uh, <laughs> I'm outside fucking Shani's house again. And I've not got my roses. Shit. What colour did you want, Mazak? Wait, I've got an idea though. If I talk to the herbalist. What do you need? Uh wait, wait, wait. White roses, please. There. I need one of them. Thank you. Right, good. Look, lovely. Nice. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, herbalist. Mad. Now, if I stand outside Shani's house and get and drunk myself silly. She had red, actually. But it didn't specify. Now, am I technically... Come on, girl. Am I technically drunk? I like the idea that Shani went to work this morning. <laughs> Just saw Geralt laid on the street outside. Right, now, maybe I'm not considered drunk and I can get past this old lady. I didn't buy the gloves! What? You drunk? Not true. Out! Don't let me see you again! I hate her. I fucking... I, I just... I've never... Genuinely, I don't think I've ever disliked an NPC in a video game as much as that. And I'm talking... Oops, what shit. do you need? Major villains and all sorts. Ah! Your men. Not what true. Can I do? All right, pal. I'd like to buy the gold gloves because there is a shithead that won't leave me alone, and I need to um, bribe her. Right. Um, there's a camp. I've got no fucking flint either, have I? Right. Let's go to the hairy bear. We'll buy a knight. We're coming back, and then it's going to happen. There was eight streams in between the last sex card and now. That really does look like it doesn't say townswoman. Okay, down here we go. Hello, hooker. Right. If I had some fucking flip... If I was allowed to use Igni in town... Imagine if Geralt could just go like this and go... And light campfires with his fucking fingertips like in uh, Bioshock. Instead of setting a big circle around him on fire. Maybe we'd be allowed to use it in town and light campfires closer Damn to Shani's house. <sighs> Any rooms? Five orange. Fine. <laughs> right, meditate until... If I meditate for three hours, will that get rid of the drunk debuff? Because Shani will be... If I meditate to midnight, Shani will be asleep, won't she? And I'll sober up. And we can storm in there. Give her landlady the gloves if she'd like it. And live happily ever after. Is that true? Right. Come on, surely giving Shani the roses is enough. 
can't believe you won't afford to save five orange. <laughs> Fuck it, that's a good idea actually. I could rig all kinds of shit by doing that. Especially in a game that's already proven it crashes a few times. Right, stop getting comfortable, Stubbler. This is not about being comfortable. This is all about... Achieving the unachievable. I like the fact that the Salamander are just sitting pretty, knowing full well that they're under no threat whatsoever from Geralt. Come on. She's not at work, is she? Please don't see her in the streets. Although that would probably be a bit easier, because I don't have to get past the old lady. Right, Shiny, we are back. Let me save outside. Everybody else is in bed. It's middle of the night, Geralt snooping around outside her house. Right, here we go, this is the one. Old, grey and still chasing skirts, you should be ashamed! Old, grey and a pain in the ass, you should be ashamed. Go! Just don't be surprised if she stabs you! <sighs> Fucking nailed it. Right, this is it. Is Shani in? She is! <gasps> We're in. We've done it. Let me save. Deep breath, everybody. I think it might actually be about to happen. If she starts talking about the Battle of Brenner. Yes. Mazak, if it's not a white rose. Lovely roses, Geralt. I warm to gestures like this. I'm glad. Different colours mean different things. Red roses, for instance, signify love. Mazak, you did that on purpose, didn't you? That was sad. Was gr Do you know what that was? That was green sabotage. Wait, can I use my signs at night? The other option next to the... Shit, I can sleep at Shani's house! I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. I'm so angry. Right, let me sleep. Ah. Sleep into midnight. Did you know red rose spelled backwards is order? <laughs> there you go, Dan. Dude Nez, welcome to the street. How's that, Ryan? How's that? Right, let me go back. We're having it this time. My own bones. Come on. If I can sleep at Shani. No, because then... I'm... What have I done? I am... F f I, I wanted to be at the daytime so I could go and get... Sh I'm screwing this up. This is why he's been nine days without a sex card. Cardi, welcome to the stream. Did I, I think I just answered your question before you asked it. <laughs> We're about there. I need to get Shani a red rose, but to get Shani a red rose, I need to sleep until fucking midday when all the traders come out, get Shani a red rose, because Mazak told us to get her a fucking white rose, and she said white roses don't denote love, so we're going back to the traders at midday to get a red rose, to then give to Shani at midnight, to then, because I've got to wake her up while she's in her fucking underwear, and then, and only then... Can I get denied a sex card? <laughs> ah. 
Yeah, the salamander are abso under absolutely no threat from the person that's investigating them. Have you noticed? Also, Mina, I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but Bernard, not Bernard, Raymond, the guy that's um, investigating for us, I swear he's a Doppler. Because what do you need? when we were talking to him yesterday, the witch and medallion were going like that, but nobody, nobody mentioned it. Right, Red Rose, please. I reckon he's a Doppler. Thank you, Herbalist. Do I get yellow as well? Yeah, let's buy them all. What do you need? Sorry, madam. Right. Is this buying roses straight outside her um, her bedroom window? Is this this exact same thing as buying flowers from a gas station nearby? She's going to be able to look outside and see exactly where I got them from. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Herbalist. You are very, you are very right. Can I go to Shani's house or is she not in? Is it worth? We'll go to night time because I can guarantee she's in at night. If red is love and blue is shut and go to sleep, yellow must be giz a bang, right? But are we looking for? Are we looking for just a romance card from Shani, or are we looking for something more long term? White. Not, oh yeah, blue. I didn't even realise. <laughs> I think I read blue out as well. Ah. Is that something you have experienced? I've never bought flowers, actually. I think she'd get extremely suspicious if I even tried. Right. Uh, bear, bear, bear. Hello, gambler. Hello, all the normal characters we interact with. As you can tell, I am going at full speed currently, so... It's rigged. There's evidently something in it for me other than simply money. Right, sleep until midnight. Yeah, never. I never bought any for anybody else, and I don't think she's the type that would be into it, so never had to. Dude, Nez Didgeridan would like to speak to you if you were here. Don't think of the bits. I guess you wouldn't question your rationale in buying flowers more than food. I know, right? You could buy two white bread loaves with that money. It's probably way more than that. I don't think she's the type to like them, anyway. Yeah. Okay, out we go. Hello, poor woman. Shani should be in bed. I now am armed with roses and ready. Flowers are great, though. They are pretty tippy-top. They're designed to attract humans, right? So we're all primates. That's what flowers are, right? They're there to attract... No, fruit is there to attract... Primates. Yeah, that's it. And flowers are there to attract the bees that blinds would know. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, because I act with his wife, you see. Um, save. Especially boring old winter weather. I know. It's horrible, isn't it, Mina? Boring old, terribly bright, sunshiny winter weather. Okay, here we go. I've just got to beat the old woman on the door. of you is proof enough nothing personal i'm here to see shani the white frost approaches i feel it in my bones you don't know how it is living in a cold house in your old age you're right love no i don't true i don't oh. old age is no jest Please be in. Please be in. Please be in. Is this it? <laughs> Stop living then, Jesus. You've had pissing rain for days now. Wait a minute, Mina. Let me just see. Oh. Yeah, I think there's a cloud or two in the sky there. <laughs> yes. Are we ready? This is a token of our affection to Shani, and basically us ad admitting that there is a certain feeling of loving this, uh, loving this dead old witcher. Are we ready? Red roses, Geralt. So you. 
you're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help. No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. It's me. We actually went out a few times, and who knows Close what might off. have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over special forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Taller said to the men, this better be important. One of them answered, but chief, we hid invisible-like. Taller said, your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How did it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Boltes secret police. When we first met in Oxenford, Wh I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenford, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. Hello? The old lady downstairs getting covered in brick dust from <laughs> There it is, the first sex card in nine fucking streams. It's happened. Holy shit. <laughs> She's reading a book while you... Exactly. She was... Weirdly, that happens a lot in Witcher 3 too. Jesus Christ. Right, where is it? It's done. We got it. Are you ready? Fucking finally. Shani, good we'll work. Okay, fine. <laughs> Why was I not very good? <sighs> Dear me. Right, what's this game about again? It's been so long. <sighs> Can I? Shani, I need to sleep. It's done. Also, we learnt about Tala. The hell is he doing? Hey, wait, let me go see if I can speak to the old lady. All right, Nan. I trusted you to think what you've been doing upstairs. <laughs> um, permission to say option two. Is anybody going to disagree with that? That's Mina, Dan, Mazak says too. Oh, die, you hag. Video games never made me so happy before. How did she do? How? Hey, Shani, guess what's that? Wait, what if Shani's angry? We'll talk later. Oh, 
was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. What the, was she that ready to die that it just took some sharp words to kill her? Oh, that feels so good. And to think it was this easy. There was no loot on her, Mina. I wish I could. Uh, Mazak, Didgeridan, Mina, as the people that voted to tell her to F off, how do you feel? Who's going to tell you to get it? Well, we've always got the memory. Dan feels great. <laughs> Mina feels great. <laughs> no regrets. That's what I like to see. Nice. And the old friend of mine quest is complete. I like Shani, she's tippy top. Colstein's notes led me to another Sephira that good. The most satisfying thing. Uh Love had nothing to do with it. I want to wait his next move. Got it. I told Raymond about what we found during the autopsy. Needs time to uh, uh, analyze the evidence about Colstein. Uh Right, we we did just prove that Thaler's innocent, or Taylor, Tala, however you say it. Is it Tala? So does that mean that Shani lives rent-free now? That's a good point. We just killed Shani's landlady. In the building with no witnesses. Rent-free, eh? What a rent-free. Rent, rent-free. Destiny. Or is she the prime suspect? It depends if anybody finds the body that attacks like, right? The evidence suggests that we'll go see Tyler uh, and tell him that he's innocent. Because Shani told us of um, a liaison she had with him where she overheard him working against the Salamander with Tamiria's royal guard, Foltest's guard. He's a bit of a dick, this guy. You rec might recognise him from, uh, from Witcher 3. You'll definitely recognise his voice, if not his face. But we thought he was working with the salamander, but it turns out he's not. So what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? Um, I know uh, about your tryst with Shani. Oh, fuck off. We aren't all ploughing philanderers. Some of us have depth. <laughs> so what'll it be? Some we of us some have depth. Business? He was in love with Shani. Oh, you bet. You've been banging my bird. I've figured out Salamandra. Right. You're clean. I have proof you're not working for Alzar. What a revelation. Though a lot of evidence pointed toward you, almost as if someone was framing you. I underestimated you, Witcher. Many do. I'll let you in on something. I might have gotten on Azar's bad side once. The bastard lusts after antiques and luxuries, like any savage who makes a corner too. I was once asked to handle an entire transport of that shit. Turned out it was for him, except I needed the city guard's help at the time. Look at the physics I on the chain on his off and they confiscated everything. I've needed even more protection since. Right. I have, genu I have gained an influential ally in a piece of information about Azar. What can I do with that piece of information, Witcher? Hmm. Alright, that prick's innocent. I really want to go speak to Shani and see what's happening there. I wonder... Like, if I'd have picked the other option when I was speaking to the old lady, would she still be alive? I won't get anywhere without evidence. Vincent claims he keeps an eye... So this is Vincent... How do I don't know how you say that. Mice? Let's say Mice. Because there's nothing in this game about mice that's disgusting. Vincent claims he keeps an eye on the salamander, but they may be just a cover for working with him. I'll gather more information and confront Vincent when the time is right. But how do I get more? I have to get more information by looking him up in the character tab. By the way, it's been exactly two weeks to the day since our last sex card. That's that's ridiculous. We've got to get one a week, right? Or we're failing at everything. Right, characters. Where are you, Vincent? The captain of the city guard released the professor, one of the most wanted criminals in Tamaria. Vincent is the captain of the city guard and main executor of the king's law in the temple quarter. Vincent was one of the few who knew I was going to the sewers to kill the cockatrice and that I could only leave by the exit where I encountered the bandits. On his orders, the city guards are forbidden to talk about Salamander. 
People say it's impossible to get in touch with him. At night, after dark, he vanishes into thin air. Is it worth... If he vanishes into thin air, is it worth waiting until the sun's going down, until dusk, and then following him? Do you think? If that's what we're supposed to learn to get more information on him. What's he up to? I bet he was sleeping with the old lady. Where does he hang about? Right, I'm going to do that. That's what we're going to do for the next sort of ten minutes of the stream. See if we can get more information on this guy. We did it. I can't believe it, but we did it. I thought there was a campfire here, no? God damn it. Towns, welcome to the stream. We've just got ourselves a sex card. Can you believe it? We are rolling in it now. The first one in two weeks. Brutal. Times are changing round here. You broke the old lady's heart. I didn't break it. I burst it, I think. Shani's not going to let me upstairs, is she? We're not that close just yet. I think what I need to do is get to the campfire in the... Uh... Okay, I'll just chase dogs. I need to get to the campfire in the slums. You say that, like... If only I'd been here earlier, I would have had the... Uh, uh, sorry, if only I'd been here earlier, I wouldn't have had to use the crusty old Hustler magazine. <laughs> We actually killed a crusty old hustler as well. Where will they bury me? When you died, love. The person that we um, the got the sex card from, her landlady was an asshole. She was this old woman who kept kicking us out. With the fire out. So once so I'd finally got the sex push. card, she had a go at me for making a noise upstairs while we was, you know. And I went downstairs and called her an old bitch and she died. Right, if that's dusk... If I go an hour before dusk and then sleep. How are we doing towns? How's the streaming been going? Give him a follow. I'll kill you. Tied to turning at LS11. It feels. That's vicious mockery. What's vicious mockery? Collins, brother. Streaming has been going good. Good, good, good. Everybody follow him or I'll kill you. Shani's house has disappeared off the map. It's a D&D &D spell where you cause physical damage to someone by insulting them. Vicious mockery. Is it, is it really? Huh. Vicious mockery. She died a real hard death as well. Right. We're going to stand and watch Vincent at dusk. Where will they bury me? Oh shit, I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, we desperately needed that. There's so much confirmation in the chat. Where am I going again? Well, I'm going to go to Vincent's post. If it gets to dusk before I'm ready, I'm in big trouble. Come on, run. Get to Vincent. We're going to follow him home and see what he's doing. I reckon he's off fingering someone. You watch. Where is he? Vincent. He's there. Right, so with the last sort of five minutes of the stream, I'm going to peep on him. See if I can see him move. Because uh, when the sun goes down, he goes wandering. We need to know where. Have I come here too early? Potentially. Yeah, we desperately needed it. We're the only team that doesn't have to play all the other teams in the top six. We've got nothing but the bottom of the league coming. It's so good. We're so ready. It's all in our hands. We're going to fuck it all up. Come on, Vincent. What do you reckon Vincent goes and does on a the night then? We need to wait for him to start to leave work. Standing directly opposite him and staring at him isn't suspicious at all, is it? <laughs> Ten pounds, please. Hey, not yet, not yet. They'll fuck it up, don't worry. Hey, Towns, I've got a bet with Professor Onions. Slops. That um, Leeds aren't going up this season. Hey, is that the hour changing? This might be when Vincent goes to bed. She could Roadhead. Have you changed your name? Roadhead, welcome to the stream. The Leeds are getting first this season. Shit. The belief must be there. But it's the belief that kills it. Wait, he's moving, he's moving. He's finished work. Let me 
to save it. Wait, I thought you'd finished work, pal. Oh, it's the hope that kills you. Yeah, but aren't they the same? The only thing that doesn't kill you is the absolute, 100% assured but, uh, fact that we are not going up this season. And then everything else is a surprise. He's ogling. This is peeping at me, right? Maybe he's worried because I can see him. Look, if the character the character entry says people say that it's impossible to get in touch with him at night. Uh, after dark, the captain vanishes into thin air. He wants a bit of that white fox. We're gonna finish first. If we don't, the universe is broken. That's all there is to it. But the universe has taught me over the last 15 years that I am doomed to spend fucking £400 a year standing and watching everything fall apart over and over again. I just can't... I, I'm, I'm a, I, I can't not follow the patterns. Oh, shit, he's moving again. Wait, wait, wait. I hope you're right. How are you? There, how old are you? I am 30... How old are we this year? Two. Yes, 32. 33 this year. Come on, Vincent. Come on, Vincent. Why is he not moving? I was born in 92. We've not won anything in my lifetime, and I believe. <laughs> True. I think 32? Yeah, I'm going to be 33 this year. At some point. Some undisclosed point. I may already be 33. Yeah. What's he doing? Come on, Vincent, go. Do something. Go somewhere. Anything. I'm going to forget about this on Monday morning that I'm supposed to be following Vincent. Swift is from 88, isn't he? Swift do. No, he's from 90, I think, Swift do. Tomorrow's Stubbler's birthday. <laughs> hey, if I get to have like eight birthdays in a year and not actually tell anybody my actual one. Yeah, Swift do was like three years younger than me. I think. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He has me in here. I don't know if Swift who's told us his birthday a year. Happy birthday, Stubbs. Yeah, it's my birthday on the uh, second week of every month. Look at them smiles. It's so sinister. No, no, Swift who was in his 20s in 2019. To be fair, he looks better than me by a power of ten, so you know full well that he's evidently younger. <laughs> no, yes. No, he's, yeah, three years younger. I met Swiftu because in the village I grew up in, I used to knock about with people of all ages. And then when you go to, to big school, you're all in the same... You, you hang about with people your exact age, don't you? And then after the fact, I reconnected with that lot. And he was a friend of one of those people. Come on, Vincent! You're still knocking about with people of all ages. <laughs> yeah. yeah, old women as well, evidently. And that's how you met Prince Andrew, who introduced a pair of us. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Vincent, move! Do something, go somewhere, this is agonising. I can't just stand here and stare at you all night, although I end up probably am going to. Because I have to catch him when he moves. Ah! Wait, a better way of saying it is Swifty went to school with people I grew up with. There you go. We was at a party one time. And we'd woke up at the sort of wee hours of the morning in summer at some point, like 5 or 6 a.m. And he was from another town over. So I said, 
and we were the first two up and we'd done all that tidying up shit that you do smoked about eight fags before we just woke up and I said should we go do something should we go play something because it's miserable here so we went to my place and I said come look at this game and it was 2004's A World of Warcraft and that was his introduction Vincent's not going to move is he apparently he goes missing uh, after dark and he's right here is this what you call missing? Yeah, exactly what you mean. 2004's A World of Warcraft or uh, Rockstar Table Tennis we play. I remember seeing a really old photo of you and Swift do at a festival or something. Yeah, that was in... That will have been 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Vincent, can you move please? This means that it's Thursday, right? Tomorrow is Physics Friday. This means that on Thursday, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit... Uh, sorry, Monday next week. The way we're going to start the next week is by just sitting here and watching Vincent Mice not move. A picture of one of them is apparently the property. That was me, yeah. I went... Because we went marauding around, you see. As young... At relatively healthy, pe drunk people, and she made sure she stuck her mark on just so something didn't happen. Come on! It was the pre -tap. It was actually, yeah. Three or four years before that. Right, that's it. Boys and girls, would anybody like marbles? Because it's evident that Vincent is just going to sit and look dead sad all night. Disappear into thin air, my ass. Fucking Vincent. Right, Witcher. That is it for the week. That was a good end, right? We managed to get a sex card. And I think that's... that's We did it. That's, that means we've got 100% more sex cards than last week. Right. Thank you very much, Witcher. But that is going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the last Witcher stream of the week has come to an end. I apologise for having to end shortly. But... The real game is not sex cards in the Witcher towns. It is this. Hey, Rhoda, do you want to see something? Rhoda, as a green, do you want to see something? Keep an eye up here. You ready? Right, marbles. We need a person of the century of the day. We need a gold name in Discord. We need somebody to take Scribby's crown and earn themselves a point for the uh, 2020 total. The current score is Greens 13, Oranges 38. It's not looking good for the dear old Greens. So, if you would like a marble, say the word... Marble. No idea. Oh, it could have been Rose. It should have been Rose. Right, this is it. This is for person of the century of the day. Holy shit, there's a lot of greens in here. Damn. Lack of creativity, man. There's 50 TK <laughs> Right, the teams are as so. We have Tag Slack for the oranges. Ryan for the oranges. Who else we got? Siddles for the oranges and Mina for the oranges. That's already two more oranges than yesterday. But we have Kaleido for the greens. Have I spelled that right? I have. We have Slops for the greens. We have Cardi for the greens. We have Eric for the greens. Rodhead, would you like a marble? We have Mazak for the greens. We have Rodhead for the greens. We have Towns for the greens. <laughs> and we have Didsbury Dan for the oranges. Oh shit, we have also got Moria for the greens. What the fuck? That's a lot of greens. 
We've got four oranges. No, five oranges. And eight greens. Okay, no, never mind. We've got Gwynblade as well. We've got nine greens. One run. The winner gets a gold name in Discord, the person of the century of the day title, and a point for their team. But first, we need to pick a level. The first person to write a number between 1 and 10 picks the level. Ryan says 2. 1, 2. The level is called Hard Landing. It's 2 minutes and 36 seconds long, and we are going right now. Uh. Ryan is the current record holder on this level with 1 minute and 24 seconds. It's called Hard Landing, and Dan says he's going to win. Let's see. Let's see if he's right. Good luck to everybody, but mainly the oranges. How What's this level look like? Oh, it's this bitch. Dan's used his boost early. Who's going to come out first? We need a good, strong lead coming out. I think Siddles or Ryan or Mina or Tagslack or Didsbury Dan. Surely it's going to happen. And Orange is going to win this week. Come on, come on, stop fucking about. Look at the lead switching and changing, chopping and switching. Come on, come on, an Orange come out first, please. Come on. Come on, Oranges. Come on! My balls are as blue as this fucking level. Come on, oranges. Come on. Hurry up as well, because I've got a massive P word to eat tonight, and I can't be bothered to wait for this. This edging. It's tearing me apart. I should be stretching, but I'm too tense. What's going on here? Hello? Anybody? Oh, oh. Kaleido looks to be in the early lead. She said that... Kaleido, male or female? If you don't mind me asking. Just, just... <laughs> I don't know. This is a rim job. We're out anyway, though. Kaleido for the greens takes the early lead. Hello, Slops. Hello. Slops has managed to get the overtake. He is not taking no for an answer. This is extremely green. Ryan is the only chance we have at taking the lead in the background. Ryan, come on, you can do this. Overtake these villains. Slops is miles in the lead. This is dangerous. Does anybody want a Slops person of the century of the day? Because I certainly don't. He's already past this. Towns with the overtake. Siddles with the overtake. Ryan has chopped it. Kaleido's regained the second place. Come on, Slops, you got this. No, what am I saying? Come on, Slops, fuck this up. Towns has been overtaken. He's back in third place, but can Slops get pegged? He goes straight through the pegs. That's it. The only hope for the greens, Ryan, gets chopped in the background. Slops is person of the century of the day. This is the person last year who won with, who had, what, 30, 40 points towards the end of the year? The motherfucker has already got one of these. He already won last year with the most points, and yet he's stealing points from your table right now. How do you all feel about that? The only hope for the greens. Sorry, the oranges. <laughs> I don't know what you did, Tag Slack. Did you die? No, only Ryan died, actually, Tag Slack. Wait, where's Tag Slack? <laughs> what? Um, Tag Slack? No, I can't redo. Fuck, how did I not get Tag Slack in? We scanned the list multiple times. I even said tag slack for the oranges. Did we have 14 marbles and I only put 13 in? And it course it skips a fucking orange. There were 14 people and you set the map for 13. Tag slack pointed out Mori was missing and didn't and then got screwed by the system. Tag slack, I hereby promise tomorrow you get two marbles. Remind me. Everybody remind me. I'm going to write it on my desk in Sharpie. Oh, fuck. Screwed by the man. Tag Slack tomorrow. Two. I'm writing it on the desk as well. 
you're back at work tomorrow. Tag Slack, I hereby promise that even if you aren't here, you're getting two marbles tomorrow. How about that? Right, apologies to Tag Slack. Well, congratulations to Slops and to the Greens. That bumps the score up from 13 to 14. That's three green points in a row. Is the green comeback on? One. Now nah, I'll give him two, Ryan, because he he was here today and he didn't get it. I gotta go get. I got. I got to tell Kitten to get wrecked. Good job, Green. <laughs> right, boys and girls, that is gonna do it for Witcher this week. Thank you very much, Spy Music. But you must simply fuck off because for now, the stream has come to an end. Right, we got a sex card. We did it. We did it, and it was a high quality sex card as well. It's not one that I just spent four hundred orans on in the street. Although I have got a hell of a lot of uh, roses I don't need. Does anybody want them? Right, boys and girls. Towns, thank you very much. But for now, Towns, Ryan, Tagslack, Kaleido, Mina, Ryan, Hislop, Dan, Eric, Moria, Mazak, Gwimblade, Rodead, and everybody else. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, putting up with me staring at Vincent Mice and desperately trying to. Also, I killed the worst video game character in history. Where's my credit? Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. I love you all very much. Eric, can you provide us with a word to end the stream on? I'm going to get out of your lives and I shall see you tomorrow for more Bridge Constructor Portal. Because we're going to beat that game. I hope we're going to beat a level anyway. Right, everybody, I want you to rate this word out of 10 because this is what Eric's chosen to end the stream on. I'll try and say it with as much gravitas as possible, Eric. Apple sauce.